Hello, everybody, and welcome back to baseball here on youtube.com slash Rex or twitch.tv slash Rex. However you are watching, thank you for watching. We're taking on the Kansas City Royals in game two of a three-game set. Michael Waka on the mound, 946 ERA. Can't get too excited about that. My eyes get big. The bustle start to go, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crush this guy. That's where we get into a lot of trouble because I think we're going to crush them. We don't crush them. I get irritated. We lose. That's the series of events. We can identify that. We can improve as a person. We can take it slow. We can hopefully get some pitches. Maybe put this game a little more out of reach than we did in the last game. But we'll see what happens. Bryce Miller's on the bump for us. 6-1 and one with a 2-4-7 ERA. And uh, yeah, we're 1-0 in this series. This should be a sweep. Frankly, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. Because again, you're going back to the high ERA. We're going to get a sweep. Lose a game. Get irritated. Lose another game. Get irritated. You know. That cycle repeats itself. So just try to figure it out. Don't worry about their record. Don't worry about his ERA. Just go out there and try to win some ball games. And that's what we're going to do. 6 p.m. Pacific time right here on YouTube.com slash Rex. Streams return. I believe this is a Tuesday game. So streams should return tonight uh, if you would like to watch live. 6 p.m. Pacific time. Or actually, right as this video goes up, I'll be playing game three of this set. And then I'll leave it closed to partly cloudy. Um, and we'll be beginning, we'll be, uh, we'll be starting driver two. All right. We have a right-handed pitcher. We can use, we have a lot of cold hitters. I don't like this at all. Um, Rodriguez leading off Crawford in the two is fine. Rayleigh in that three Rojas there is okay. I think I'm going to pull Marlowe into right field. Gives us a little bit more speed though. The bat isn't great. Uh, we are just not doing anything with, uh, with Mitch Haniger. Um, Haggerty and Rojas. Haggerty for... We can go Trammell, another lefty. And then I think maybe we... I don't love this, but we are going to put Garver in at first. He has a secondary... Yeah, secondary position. So we'll put him in. And we'll have a righty to start the lineup. And then four straight lefties, and then we'll rotate through the rest of the lineup. That is how it will go. Now is a great time to subscribe, ring the bell, get notified when I post new videos on YouTube. Click the link in the description, watch on Twitch, hang out in the chat. Tell me, hey, I can't see the ball either, because that makes me feel real good. When I go, oof, man, that batter's eye is bad, and someone goes, oh, I can't see it either. And welcome in, it's everybody. not me being Glad crazy. With us. Tuesday baseball on the show. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Seattle Mariners. Inside of a closed T-Mobile park, which I don't love. Usually I try to open it, but... All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. I just didn't really worry about it. Oops. 43. So almost ready to get underway on the hill for the Mariners. Bryce Miller singing. He's been outstanding. Bryce and Miller. Be fun to watch. Well, when you have a guy that can limit the opponent to very little run production, oh. you have a great chance to win a ball game when he takes the mound. He's just having an outstanding season so far. You hope he can Maybe maintain it because if he can, he'll be in a nice conversation at the end of the year. And now it's going to be number 11. No okay. cap. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That's in for a strike at 95. And this one is off and running. Okay. Here we go. Game number two of three in this series. I am kind of dreading that East Coast road trip. Not even kind of, especially going to Baltimore. My goodness. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still. Okay, all two. right. All right, Michael Garcia. The pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Is it going to be one of these kinds of games? The wind of the pitch. We do have a day off. Goes down looking for the strikeout. 
couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. There's no way he feels good about that. Kansas City has given us trouble in the past. There was, I think it was the very first season that I did. Um, maybe it was the second. There was a season where we went to Kansas City and all we had to do was like win a game to clinch the West and it was just misery for like four games. Season, he features a four seam fastball, a slider, a slurb, a two seamer, and foul ball, foul a ball. change up. One out, base is empty. Pitch misses there. We can go back to what I was talking about at the very beginning of the last game. It's like, hey, I don't think this team is quite as bad as their record indicates. To the right side, we can be a little bit eh. gets it to first. Yep. Quick start here this Maybe not as good as our record would indicate. We're, we're closer, closer than it would seem. And you can see that come to fruition in the eighth inning with some, some poor bullpen management, admittedly. So there's no... Okay, there's Perez. There's no Bobby Witt Jr. Is that why they're so... Their record is so poor? Yeah. Immediately pumps in a gotta be real careful, very aware of where Two out spaces South. Empty. Oh my god. How was that too fast? There's a swing and a drive. Just unbelievable. And that one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Okay, now to be fair, god-awful pitch. Not really sure what happened hands. there. Nice job of going the other way. Nelson Velasquez, the next to hit. Swing and a miss, strike one. And the strategy of winning a ball oh, game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps okay. later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock. With okay, there we go. That's nice bounce there. back with Bryce Miller there. We're going to hopefully have so some improved bullpen City. management because so that was part of the problem itself. yesterday. To go to work for the first uh, they time. finally kind of, they finally school. broke through for Major a couple League of runs. I helped the them with show. that. So, you know, kudos to me for being a good guy. Mr. Helpful over here. But we don't, uh, we don't want to see that. Michael Walker, eight starts with an 0-4 record. 32 Walker. innings pitched it's with a 9-4-6 ERA. That is terrible. That's, he's averaging four innings. A start, a whip of 204. Again, cannot be too excited. That 946, that two point whatever whip. That's, that's bait. There's a sinker high in the zone. I'm not going to get a good, not going to get a good read on the speeds because the text on the back is he's awful hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches oh, outside the zone he still might beat you not an easy out by any means okay fouled it off it's I guess here in T-Mobile we should make sure that we are starting with a left-handed pitcher or a hitter and one we and just so we can see what the speeds are. Man, I can't read any of that. That one no, missing inside. Here comes a pitch. <laughs> now, and that's the first out. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat exactly. speed. It's hard. Just to lost patience to there. I was Very hoping for the check swing. Circle change is down to 84. That four seam at 94. The sinker at 94 as well. Cutter at 89 and a curveball at 76. JP Crawford. That's towards center. And unfortunately, it's just an out. It. Darn it. The grab for the that was out. what we had a problem with in the first game. Like, decent contact with, like, good now pieces of our lineup. Luke just an out. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Now oh. one to one. He's also kind of my worst nightmare with that circle change being a primary pitch. Two down, nobody on. And now the count. And there, that's one why. That's exactly why. Minutes. Way too early. Just oh. misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two outs. 
just oh. off the outside part of the plate. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Outside Made it pretty easy. Unfortunately, we drew that or had that strikeout with first base is Rodriguez. Aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out oh. RBI, and those are the best. That wow. is if you are the offensive side of it. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One and one. No way! How? What? What? How the hell was that a catch off the ground? That sucks. Top of the second, and now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. Okay, Miller. Ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. And he deals. I kind of thought about stepping strikes. off there just to get a look at it, but. <laughs> Yesterday we were able to get those four seams to sail on it a little bit to kind of go up in the zone. That one didn't. Be fucking careful with Salvador Perez. It's what I said. Be aware of where he is. Oh, here's a pretty hittable four seam fastball, sir. Here's Adam Frazier. You and your 73 power and your handsome face. In there at the knees, and that's strike one. Right in his handsome face. Actually, step off. Don't throw it too soon. Don't throw it too soon. Good eye right there. Our umpire behind the plate, Damn. Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good two thing. Two one. That one not close. Yeah, that's ball two. Chris, the players I, ever I don't really have an answer for that. Meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So. You're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Hunter Renfro, nope, the next to hit, takes outside. Second inning here, no score. Right, right through there for a strike. Struggling with the location again. That catches the outside corner, and that's strike two. Oh, come on, swing and miss. Miller, we'll put that ball a little bit more out of the zone, please. I'll be honest, that sounded sarcastic. I really just wanted it a little bit more up. That, uh, that 96 mile an hour fastball is a little more what I'm looking for. Garver. Garver. What is happening? And it's a one, two, three inning. So they go quietly there. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. That was unnecessary. It like it caught him and then he just was like, I don't know what to do. I'm a catcher. Go to first base. I hit, I hit B because I wasn't sure if it realized that I was trying to control him with the left stick. Anticipating that if you hit B, he would just go to it. And then it was like, oh no, you have to do the throwing thing because he's going to try and toss the ball. To the pitcher covering. It's like, oh God. Swing and a base hit. Okay, there we go, Rojas. I think unfortunately we have a couple of righties coming up. Hey, don't worry about the matchups. Don't worry about the matchup. Think too much about it. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Mitch Garver up to it here. Really bringing some thump at the plate lately. Three home runs over the last five games. On a line, base hit. 
Okay. Okay. Kind of a bad swing there. Back to back base hits. Nice line drive to the full side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So digging in, Cade Marlowe. That's fine. That's fine. I'm a little worried about this matchup here. Marlowe only has 46. Oh, clutch. The power is only at 34. Swing That's a real miss. bad swing. And it's on two. No way that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here. You've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch. No, That's a no-no. The next offering misses. Now one and two. We've had some decent contact, but... Swing and a miss. And he he totally... Him out. Ah, and this that is a big fucking first out. circle change. Here's Luis Arias. See if he wants to go high fastball again. He did not. He wanted on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And now the count Settle is down. even. Settle down. Rojas over at second. Garver at first. One gone. Swing and a miss. He was late. Way too late. Yeah, that sinker and fastball velocity. It's going to be real tricky to catch up to off of the circle change. Next no, I thought that was going to be a strike. Oh, is even two and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Right-hander kicks, deals. Right. Swings and misses. Struck him out. No advance. Good Fuck. job behind He's the He's the worst possible so scenario is out. an asshole with this a fucking a circle change. Hitter, Taylor Trammell. Yeah. In there at the knees. And that is strike one. God damn it. Circle change is a fucking primary pitch. Come on. That one down the line. God, I would have loved to have poked that. Would have loved to have just poked that down the line. The one two. Stays alive. It's a bad swing, but stayed alive. The one two. That's a good take. That's a good take. Should be a full count, but. Okay, that's a good one to foul off. It's a good one to foul off right on the zone there. Two on, two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. The pitch. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. Oh, the the no! Line. That was a cutter across. way out of the That's zone when we were in an auto swing mode there. That actually should have been a walk. We'll move to the third. No you take out two of those swings, we have the bases loaded with two outs and Julio coming to the plate. And we're back. Here's the left fielder. And that was Jay two Melendez. hits with nobody out, and we just do nothing. Ready to go. Still no score. Okay, Slice Miller. Hard, but Miller, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> no thank you. Here comes the 01. Fouled off to the right. Left okay, field. what is happening? This was the same problem we were dealing with in some of the the Oakland games. Where, like, the two-seam and the four-seam are dropping in the top part of the zone and they're raising in the lower part of the zone. That's not what I want. Get out of here. That's not where I want that fucking pitch. There as he swings through. One down, base is empty. And you can't ask for these pitches to be much better thrown. Remains 0 and 2. Top of the third, no score. Swings 
Okay, nice job. Ratchet up to 96. Get it by the bat. Fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the pitch. Okay, that one was bad. Early point eight seconds. And Absolutely. That yeah. one in there across the letters. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. In time to Garber. And that's the third out. Royals okay. go down one, two, three. I'm so worried about Garber at zero. being in a secondary position costing us later. Because, like, he's fine. He's definitely an offensive player rather than a defensive player. I understand that. And a pitch. The Mariners knew what they had. Signed him in July of 2017 for a little under $2 million when Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Fast forward to 2022 for Julio Rodriguez to win the Rookie of the Year. God the damn Seattle it. The Mariners were then compensated with the 29th overall pick in the first round of the draft in 2023. Nope. Part of the new CBA enticing teams to promote their good young players. Got him looking for the K. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Oh, nice God damn it. Here. We He's should be doing so much better. Starting to get a little frustrated. I mean, not even like thinking about that nine ERA, but just the fucking circle change as a primary. That's a bad swing. Fuck. You'll one. Swings through that one for strike two. I like having Luke Rayleigh on the team. We, I don't think, ever get check swings with him. And down on strikes. And the Mariners set down on two three. Mariners go down quietly there. Still no score. I'm just, I'm not seeing where he wants to go with the ball at all. Back he has, I am, I am completely Hampson. lost this at the play right now. Keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. Throws to first. Arias been making some real nice plays at third. I think the defense was anticipating something here because they were really ready to defend as that ball was put down. Nice little drag bond, but they get the out. Way to go. Pasquantino stands in now and watches strike one. So you a circle change. Kansas City Royal pains in my ass. Nelson Velasquez steps in for the Royals. And a good eye there. Velasquez in his second season, 25 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. And there's a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two down, nobody on. Knocks it down. Two outs. You just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So what the fuck right happened? Here. Are you for? I literally said it. Really afraid of Garver doing something. 
He just stood there. He was like ready. What the fuck? It wouldn't let me move with him. God damn it. Boy, I sure hope Garver doesn't fuck me over at first base. The pitch. And a foul ball. We are so lucky to be alive right now. Two outs. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. He'll circle the bases. His seventh home run of the season. I hate this game. <laughs> You've got to be fucking kidding me. It's 2 nothing. The dude has a goddamn 9.0 ERA and we can't get a fucking hold of a goddamn pitch. All of a sudden, he's dotting up everything in the goddamn universe. Garver, how could you fuck me like that? God damn it. Be careful of Salvador Perez. And again, it's the fucking fastball. They go up in the zone. Fuck. Now a chance for Adam Frazier. And downstairs. Get it in the zone, mother of God. I hate this fucking game. God damn it. Those are some of the most brutal, like, I guess glitches. I, I have no idea because the game like wants to help you out, which is like kind of nice where like it doesn't let you overrun things or whatever. That's great. It's super helpful. I would love an override to be like the ball is fucking in front of you. It's Major League Baseball on the show. <sighs> Back at T-Mobile Park. And now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. We have played two of the worst teams in the game. And that's in there at the knees. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That one ripped right center. I'm sure it's just going to be a catch of the warning track. Of course he robbed it. Of course he fucking robbed it. Of course he robbed it! potential solo shot right there. That player. I'm excited to see how they respond. So up next, Josh Rojas. And he's already singled in this game. Ball one, no strikes. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay high. Couple good now takes, Lobo's then. Got him. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. Too low count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. That, that one misses, that's and that's ball three. Yeah, there's ball four. Nice, uh, nice plate appearance there. Right there, four pitch walk, and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Runner on at first with one gone. Next to hit, Mitch Garver. Too aggressive. That one fouled off. And he'll one. That's a good take. Even if it's a strike, it's still a good take. Baseline. Not two, even two. close there. And the count is two and two. Rojas, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. misses inside and that's ball three okay foul it off foul it off foul ball. and here it comes foul it off we'll see another pay stay off. out of auto swing Five mode here balls in this at bat so far and these two are going head to head 
you can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a Got little bit more spot. and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Really good battle right there. And that Don't final pitch it. probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Here comes the new pitcher in the game for the Royals, Matt Sauer. On for his 20th appearance of the year. Sauer. And now the right fielder, Cade Marlowe, struck out swinging his first time. That misses. Ball one. One and out. The Mariners down by a pair here in the second game of the series. In the air, left side, Melendez sizing this one up and puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. Mariners leave one, and they're down 2 0. <laughs> We're. Uh... Man, I like I can't believe. Where's our replay vault here? Royals. This is unbelievable. Look at him fucking stand there. This would end the inning. He just stood there. Rojas came over. I hate. It like it like got him, but he didn't get injured. He just stood there and stared at There's so much time. You piece of shit game. Top five, John Shelton okay, we're over it. We moved past and leading it. Off, Hunter Renfro. Okay, Paul Miller, Parker. you have got to fucking get your he shit on the bag. in the corners. Now. In the, the fucking corners. For the love of God. They are leading by two. We're going to have to push back at some point. The O2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Two outs, base is empty. And next up for the Royals, Drew Waters. And first offering is fouled off. Pitch release perfect, and it just... Two down, nobody on. Hit on the ground to the right side. Foul, and foul. that's just foul. And the right hander deals. Gets a piece. Is that a thing where and like it's just the game is trying to tell you like hey the pitcher just doesn't have it today. And no, ball that missed, one. That's the ball. One and two. Got it. Looking, that's a strike. That wasn't even where I wanted Royals it. Uh, further the toward the batter. On top two, nothing. Oh my goodness. My shoulder popped. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, Luis Urias. And that oh, one missing well. low. Well, these okay, Mariners let's... Need to bring up... Hey, these Mariners need to stop getting fucked by the goddamn computer. Okay, all right. Um, let's go Sacedo and Santos. The quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. And there's a ball. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. Damn it. Hampson on the first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. <laughs> Here's Taylor Trammell. Fastball uh, right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Ball outside. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Too, too aggressive there. It's probably going to be strike one, but... Too early on that changeup. up. 
Swings through it for the K. Perez gets it to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Is, two quick This outs. is so bad. Back to the top of the this Seattle order. This is so order. bad. Mario Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. And that one fouled off. The M's trailing by two. Last half of inning number five. Inside corner at the knees. That's a strike. Good fastball. Ball one, one ball, there. Two strike. 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Righty delivers. Swung out, Would have loved that with the goddamn runner on. Fuck. I've never been so irritated with a solo home run. Okay, thank you, Julio. We're able to get there. Yeah, we cut into the lead. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, we're going to win this game. It's not going to be pretty. It's It'll be pretty ugly, but we're going to win this fucking baseball game. So help this Xbox. No, I'm kidding. I won't do. I won't do anything to you, Xbox. You powered me through so many, so many streams. So two away with nobody on. JP Crawford gets a chance to hit. Yeah. Finds okay. a corner. Going one. Oh, he yes, plunk his cheeks. Let's go. Now the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. The no biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy will lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. That was too aggressive. Home team down a run here in the second game of the series. And it's even oh. up. It's a good take right there. Two outs. And almost plunked him. Come on, bail me out of this two strike count. Wouldn't Full chase count. that time. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Outside he made that one easy. Made that one easy. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed now, and walked Get the hitter. hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Cal Raleigh. Swing That's to too aggressive. And rolls foul. That's too aggressive. Two on, two outs. On the ground, right side. Oh. And it's just foul. That was close. The 0 2. That's down and in. Way two high two. there. Two and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss. And that is that. I thought about it too much. And welcome back to the ballpark. Just, just Here's thought about it a little too much. And a pitch. You getting, getting ready for sure. that. Get ready for that off speed and just blows the fastball. It's not even that fast. Blows it by him. Garrett Hampson. Garrett. Yeah, right through there for a strike. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the six. There's the fastball. That's like the location I've been looking for. Tucking in the high and tight corner. Yeah, he's been very and just let it, let it ride a little bit. Vinny Pasquantino getting ready to hit. That's to third. And he beats it. He's safe. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It, it wasn't even... I mean, honestly, that wasn't even... That wasn't even uh, Arias or Crawford's fault. They just found the perfect spot. Done for the night. And as he had...
So a young arm coming on now. All right, Santos, let's let's get it out here. Power slider guy, bro. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Are you fucking kidding me? Now at the plate, Nelson Velasquez. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Pasquintino, the runner at first with two gone. And a foul ball. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Out to short. And that one finds its way through. So that's two straight, two out hits. First pitch nope. oh. just misses. Wow. On its way to the corner, and that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Two outs. That catches the zone for a strike, and it's one and two. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Bounce to the left side. Down the line, and it's foul. Two on, two outs. And now it's filled up. He was looking for some fire. Okay, what, what is going on here? Swing at that pitch. You'll Pitching a little scared, I think. It's part of the problem. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Right-handed reliever. Cracks his bat and pops him up. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. It's a strikeout. This is just not well, going well. Hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jake Brents. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of out. The second. Things to get, so they're looking for. Four seam at 98, a slider at 87, circle change at 90, and a two seam at 98. Fucking. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Nice the run. Away. Late on a slider in that spot of the zone. Fuck off. Game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Yeah. Garver batting with one down takes a strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Josh Taylor up and throwing. Stratton also getting ready. Misses oh. off the plate, and that is ball one. Bounce to third. Throws across the diamond and a couple of quick outs. Now it's the right fielder, Cade Marlowe. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent face. In there at the knees. Strike one. And a swing and a miss there. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters oh, don't have time to think in between pitches. Base knock right field. 
That's that unreal. That's unreal that we're able to get that hit. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Next to hit, Luis Urias. Hey, fuck off. Right God damn it. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. The walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Runs the high heat past them. That's a strikeout. So one hit is all they get. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Royals two and the Mariners one. So I have long theorized that if a team were to bring in a different pitcher every inning, I would not be able to win, and the Kansas City Royals are proving them right. This is a fucking eight-win team that I cannot seem to figure out. We got lucky with our win yesterday. We got a couple long balls to go. We had a home run robbed. <laughs> like, I just, ugh. It's so irritating. We have a couple of lefties going here, so we might bring in Saucedo. And Renfro's not that much better power-wise. Um, so we'll go ahead and bring in Matt, or we'll put Matt Brash up. We'll bring in a lefty, two lefties this time around. And we'll see if we can figure this out. This has been a very frustrating game. Um, Pitching-wise has been very irritating. Obviously, Sato has the four-pitch or the five-pitch. Five pitch mix. He also has a very slow wind up, I think. Circle change from a lefty is kind of worse than a righty. Which I feel like is saying something. There's no way that's a ball. Motherfucker. Oh, we just have this one pitch that I never use. God, that was perfect and. or like pretty good. Still a ball. Oops. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. We have time. We're only fires. down a run. Yeah, that's in there at the knees for a strike. We're good. Saucy. We're good. The tall lefty, 205 pounds, and he's one of the few players in major I also have talked about how, like, I, I do think that this team is better than they are, like, record-wise. Very difficult. And also, I, I mean, that's a strike, dude. I know that the last one probably wasn't, but I don't fucking care. That's a strike. Um, this is the game's fault. We haven't played super well. I understand. I admit. I realize. Yeah, the cider uh, oh. Just oh my misses. fucking god. Eagle-eyed motherfucker at the plate. Pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. You're you're kidding me, dude. Swing and a miss. God. It's just taking too many pitches so to get people out. Doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their I job. I cannot believe that Garver play. Pretty tough to get to Oops. Oops. Hold that one left. I can't believe the Garver play, and I can't believe that, like... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. I can't believe that I called it literally before that inning. That's in there. And a count one and one. Mm -hmm. Just nope. missed. Fought off. Foul. Oh, my God. Two on the way. And That's another ball. ball. Down and full.
This is why you think like, hey, they're not an eight and thirty-two team or whatever. One down, base is empty. And I am not a <laughs> thirty-two and eight team and or whatever record retired. we are. So two down now, and here is MJ Melendez. That yeah. one finds the corner. That's strike one. Oh one. And ball. ball one. One and one. Two down, nobody on. God damn it. Foul. I'm just pulling them so far left or right. Here's a one two. The other way. Okay, nice play, Urias. Let's go. There we go. I guess that we're going to see yet another pitcher. It's Trammell, so it's lefty, righty, lefty. Rodriguez has the solo shot. He's the reason that we're even. We're back in a new picture here. There's another the lefty. The Josh Taylor. Now. Maybe we pinch hit here. Slider at 89, two seam at 97, a sinker at 97, a curveball at 82. Try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one is absolutely belted. Waters on the move, heading back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. He's already homered here in this one. Out to center. Draw, draw. Makes a nice running catch. Two away. <laughs> J.P. Crawford. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, man, that is awesome. I am so fucking thrilled right now. On the ground, right side, pass <laughs> Quintino. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Oh, oh my God. We've had three center fielders be absolute nightmares for three straight series now. Ruiz, Buxton... And now Waters. What fucking nightmares. Back at T-Mobile Park, ready to begin the eighth. What a so fucking huge, City. what a crock of shit. Saucedo, back to work. There's a sinker at the... Where's, is the wind blowing in? Nope, there's no wind. No, nothing to worry about. Just can't get it out of the... Fucking goddamn it. Can't get it out of the incredible range of Ricky Waters out there. And he hits a ground ball right side. Rojas throws on to first. And that's one away as the leadoff now, man is out in the eighth. Eight. Now Miguel. here's the lead. Garcia. Here we go. Defense. Oops. Okay, hold on. I want to put Matt Brash in the lead. Hitter for the Royals. Sorry, don't know why I'm. Brash takes over on the mound. Just Number trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. I've actually been pretty good with uh, pinch hit home runs. Not that I'm, I'm not even looking for home runs. I just, like, we're not even getting runners on base. First pitch doesn't find the now zone. the eighth inning here has Ball been a uh, trouble for us, the top of the eighth. especially Swing here at foul. home. Pushed off to the right. Not no close one. with that one, and it's two and one. Right yeah. through there for a strike. And now the count three Man, that three slider two. getting in the zone would be just fantastic. Oh, what? Hold on, you're telling me that he just... So they get a man aboard with a one out single. God damn it. Garrett Hampson steps in for the Royals. 
Three Word. pitch strikeout. Runner yeah. takes off. Pitch misses. Safe at second with a stolen base. Of course. So with a good arm behind the dish, it's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. Brash. He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric oh, Garver, you picked up the ball that time. It went right fucking to you, and you picked it up? Is a big time you colossal fuck. designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. This feels a lot like the first game against Oakland, where it's just like nothing is... It doesn't feel like anything's really working. This comes into the game. You feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. Inside, almost got him. It's okay. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go. lead one, but they still lead it two to one. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Will Smith. These are the spots where relievers really make it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I think we let Luke Rayleigh roll. We could put in Hanniger, but I don't really want to. Um. We don't have a catcher, so we'll let Raleigh sw pitch the uh, swing from that side, and we'll bring in Haggerty for Rojas. For themselves, yeah. late and close. There's not much Slider much at 83, at four seam at 95, a, a curveball at 79, a circle change at 89. The pitch, and that one fouled off. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Oh my god, Rayleigh! For God's sake, dude! Any fucking semblance of an attempted check swing would be awesome. However, that's better. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one, any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. One down, base is empty. Laser, base hit. I don't have a different catcher, so we're over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. That's in there. It's That's one. That's one. That one hooked foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And a pitch. That's the ball. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well done behind the dish. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. Send him home. Fuck it. Roll. Fuck it. We ball. Fuck it. We ball. We are tied. I shouldn't be this excited about tying a game with an eight waiting motherfucking team, but here we are. So high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing and the Oh. 
God, do I put in Hanniger? Honestly, I think we just I think we sell out here. Easy drive into the gap for that double. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. Right through there That's for fine. a strike. That's fine. Up the middle. Hampson. No way! Oh, for God's sake! You piece of shit! You are fucking kidding me! And we're deadlocked now. Staying in the game on defense, Sam Haggerty. He entered the game to pinch hit, and now man second base. Sam Velasquez. That's a strike! As he looks at ball one, played umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. No, he's a fucking idiot. Number seventeen. Swings through that one for strike one. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Yeah, that's outside. Now two balls and a strike. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his advance. Oh, my God. The biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. And there's one down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Salvador Perez. He's already homered in this game. Just missed. All tied up. You're at the top of the ninth. Good eye right there. That no, one misses. And now three and one. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. A three one. Ball four. No, he ball walked four. in. And that this is so. That is so irritating. Brash, get your shit together. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Gabe Spire, and he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. When I don't have any bullpen arms <laughs> in the next game, boy, I'm going to be irritated with myself. And a miss, and that's strike one. Try to keep this a 2 2 game here in the second game of the series. Just missed. That's a really good take. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. There's one, and that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. Nothing doing Gross. for the offense that time. Gross. Eight nine one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. We are tied two two. Kind of wish that like, well, it's kind of a slow roller, so I guess it's okay that he takes Back it. Now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Chris Stratton. Now this guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks. Four seam at ninety five, a slider at eighty nine, a slurve at eighty three, a circle change at eighty nine, a sinker at ninety four. Furious. The next to hit takes low for a ball. Bullpen action for the Royals. John Schreiber, the closer, is getting loose. Anderson warming up as well at the belt and fires. Swings oh and misses. My God. And it's one and one. one, one. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Ground ball up the middle. Throw is high and over his head. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. The designated hitter. Making a move at second base on a pinch run. Ryan Bliss. He's a potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score in a base hit. Moore in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. And now two and nothing. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Stay, 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 stay. 
We would have won. We would have won the game with that piece of contact. So the batting order turns over. And now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. No, Julio. It was a tap. I tapped the button. Please. run 90 feet away. God damn it. We have been early on everything all goddamn game long. Yeah, Renfro has 85 arm strength. I think it's I think it's a good hold. It's a really bad throw, sure. Hindsight obviously 2020. Okay. Now he's there. We'll do it again. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. I'm so mad at myself. I am so mad at myself for that. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and base hit. That'll do it. I told you we would win. I told you we would win. It fucking sucked at every goddamn turn, but I told you we would fucking win. I, again, should not be this excited about beating an eight-win team, but fuck me, that was miserable. Let's go, J.P. Crawford. I had a really bad feeling that we were going to have to wait until a left-handed batter came up. Also, wouldn't have won that game if that did, dude didn't throw the goddamn ball into the stand. So, we didn't really win this game. The computer, I guess, evened it out. Terrible error on their part, and then me, just my guy, just standing there looking at the ball like a fucking moron. <sighs> Mariners win. Good God, what the hell? Another 3-2 victory, by the way. This one just a whole lot more miserable. Basically, in the, in the sequence of two batters, I had said, boy, I sure don't hope I sure hope having Garver at first base, his secondary position, doesn't completely and totally screw me. And earlier I had said, boy, really be careful with Salvador Perez. Watch out for Salvador Perez. Pay attention to when Salvador Perez is here. And then what happened? Mitch Garver fucked me. Then Salvador Perez fucked me. You didn't have to show the home run robbery twice, you son of a bitch. Misery. Misery. Waters tortured me in center field. Three straight series of just... Ugh. Thank God I don't have to play against Julio Rodriguez. Otherwise, I'd be a lot more irritated. Like, God, you're hot and cool. Speaking of Julio. He's your player of the game somehow. I guess they just... It was a home run, so that, that's what counted. Uh, he was one for five with a home run. Garver was two for four with a double and a ribby. Crawford one for four with a ribby. Rojas... One for two with a walk. I sold out there in the bottom of the eighth and the bottom of the ninth to just, or the bottom of the eighth specifically, like just going like, I just want to get Munoz up and hopefully we can save this game. Didn't really happen that way, but we're able to pick up a victory regardless. I don't know. This victory is not good. <laughs> this is a bad, bad victory. Gabe Spear gets the win. Point two innings pitched and goose eggs across the board. Chris Stratton, he gets the loss. Uh, it's obviously like it shouldn't be counted as an earned run. I think it's going to switch over when we go to the to, to the loading screen. But point one innings pitched, two hits, one strikeout, no walks, no earned on his line. We give up six hits to this team. There's that earned run that it switched to, um, and that will do it. We score one in the fifth, one in the eighth, and then the game winner in the ninth. I st we still don't. I still don't have that uh, walk off. Yeah, I have not walked off a game with a home run. We've walked off a couple, but they've been in infield hits, which is surprising. <laughs> because we we rely a lot on the long ball. Oh, that'll do it for today's game. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you'd like to watch tomorrow's game, you can do so. Will we sweep the eight-win Kansas City Royals? I kind of don't know. Um, it's going to be interesting, like a little peek behind the curtains. This is a Thursday night that I'm recording this. I will not be playing this game until Tuesday because I will be gone doing some stuff. So, um, 
yeah, I've, I've been trying to load up content on the channel to like just kind of keep it rolling like it normally does. Uh, so I made sure that baseball has been going. So it's going to be probably a little trickier to get into the flow of things. So we're going to have to be nice and patient. We don't have our best pitcher on the mound. Brian Wu has been one of the rockier starters that we have. He's 4-2 and two with a 3-6 ADRA. So we'll just have to kind of survive probably the first three innings, the first go-around of each lineup offensively and defensively. And maybe we get something good from Daniel Lynch. He's 1-5 with a 366 ERA. And we'll see if we can sweep this Kansas City Royals team. And then we'll be in the thick of it. Um, it's going to get real, uh, real hard, real fast. Baltimore, I fucking hate playing Baltimore. Every year there is some Baltimore bullshit game that is absolute misery. Worse than this Kansas City game. Worse than the Houston Astros loss that we had. Worse than the Cleveland loss that we had. Like, absolute hell. It's awful. I hate it. And we're getting it out of the way, I guess, in May, so that's good. The worst part is, we're now going to play a good Baltimore team rather than infuriatingly losing to a bad Baltimore team. So it's going to be that much worse. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's what's coming up. Baltimore and then New York, both teams are good. Then we get Houston at the end of the month. They are good as well. We have Washington in there, but I've been trying to like look at series that, hey, maybe we can figure things out. It's a kind of a bounce back series. We were supposed to have two of those here at home, and we have barely won four of the games or three of the four wins. It's awful. Anyway, tomorrow on YouTube, we'll be uh, wrapping up this series. We'll have some day off content or off day content. Uh, and then we'll be jumping into Baltimore, New York, Washington, Houston, Los Angeles. And I believe that's 17 straight games, which is pretty wild. So if you'd like to watch any of that, subscribe over here. Ring the bell down below. Watch more baseball here. Check out this morning's video up here, which is something. I don't know. You'll know, though, because it's showing right there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you have a great night. I appreciate the view. Good sports. Go Mariners. And we'll see you tomorrow.